today's video I'm going to be building a wall around the majority of the town of Agrippa. Uh, it will not be completely encircling it because there's obviously geographical uh, uh, disturbances or uh, blocks, blockades, the right word escapes me at the moment. Uh, obstacles is what I'm looking for. And uh, that being the ocean there, or what I assume is an ocean, and also a uh, sort of hill, tall hill area over here. I could, uh, I could clear that hill, but I'm not going to do that. But I did clear and prepare this area for the construction, which uh, I'm going to begin here in just a second. And I did do some off-camera work, which I'll show after the uh, time lapse. Anyways, there will be, uh, as usual, some music during the time lapse, and I'm going to begin building now. <laughs>
Okay, so the Agrippa town wall is complete. And it's got a arched entryway right here. And there's a sign that says uh, Town of Agrippa. Uh, a little bit later I'm going to put the uh, population of the town on that sign. That's something I've always forgotten to do with the previous towns is uh, put up a sign saying what the population is. So I eventually will go back to the other towns and take care of that. Uh, during the construction I did have a creeper blow a hole here so I will fix this off camera before I do the uh, the final update, well the first and final update of uh, the town of Agrippa. It's actually probably the, uh, this is the quickest town, at least the town of which, of which I've spent the least time working on. Anyways, uh, for the off-camera work, there's a few things, such as the, the trade mercer, which has uh, three mercer members. Larger towns would have a larger number of uh, people within the mercer. And inside here is an empty chest, as I actually haven't uh, mined any gold ore uh, while working on this town. Uh, but uh, this is where the trade mercer is where all the... Uh, the town's gold would be stored, and uh, there isn't really uh, any currency uh, used for intra-trade uh, between the townspeople simply because uh, it's they're sort of uh, sort of communist in the regards of how resources and luxuries are distributed amongst the population, but they're technically not a commun. Uh, communist state or anything like that simply because uh, everything all the decisions are made dem demo democratically and so it's it's a democracy but uh, through democracy uh, the people of the sand democracy choose to uh, evenly distribute wealth and goods uh, there's nothing in here there's no point in showing that and I did do some, uh, that's right, the, the mines. There's uh, some sand mines outside the wall where I got uh, a lot of the, uh, the resources I used to build the wall. Which is right over here. And I didn't really bother mining the stone because the whole purpose of this quarry is to uh, get the sand and sandstone. And also, it, it does look ugly, but uh, even though it looks ugly, I, uh, I intentionally keep it that way. To, to have some kind of industrious look, the look of uh, resources being used up by this town to show that it does, in fact, have a, an impact. And the other thing I did was uh, place uh, glass and lava to replace that uh, previous design for sort of like a street lamp situation. There's not a lot in this town because uh, the only place I would, uh, design-wise, want these sort of lava lamps would be onto a corner of intersections, and there's not actually very many intersections in this uh, town. But the uh, the next town I'm going to be working on, which is actually going to be a city, I'm considering it making it the uh, the uh, unofficial capital of the Sand Democracy. It'll be the biggest city of the Sand Democracy, although technically it won't be the capital, as each uh, each town is its own city state. They only uh, sort of have an alliance or a, uh, a union. Anyways, uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And uh, what I'm going to do next, before I move on looking for a new location, is going to be doing some minor touch-up work, like placing torches along this, the rest of this wall, and getting all the uh, dark spots that would, for example, have a creeper spawn behind me, and cause damage like this. Anyways, see you later.